This is the future. This is the future. So, hi guys, and welcome back to Crypt Zone. So, you guys are probably wondering what is a bunch of grass doing in a corner? Well, this is part of my upgrading projects. There's about three or four projects that's running at the same time now. So, I'll be taking some videos as we go with each project. So, for today, we are starting off with how to put paving down. If you have never put paving down before, or if you are interested in learning on how paving works, then you can check this video out. So, I'm going to pave this part of the yard. The reason for that is I'm going to build myself a tool shed right here at the end. So, we are busy following this project. Now, I'm not the one doing that. Uh, I've got a guy who's a professional in this, who is coming to assist in doing the paving while I'm busy doing other things. But I thought it would, have be, it would be a great video if I could show you guys what the process is, because I also didn't know. I actually thought I was gonna do it myself, and then I realized it's actually not as easy as I thought. I thought I'm just going to, you know, level the ground, put the bricks on, take a hammer and make it nice and tight, and then voila, done. But it's not. So for today, what do we have done for today? You will see I took this palisade off. I had a, a palisade here. The reason for that is because we had to throw the sand over in that corner that we used to level this ground. Um, I will see if I can attach a photo for you guys on how it looked here before. I had a, a very low slope. The water is draining from that side because my yard is sloping. The water is running this way and then the water is running this way. All the way here. Now as you guys can see I've got a, a drain here. To give you an idea of how much we have leveled this ground. The original ground was level with this and we've lifted it about this much to get it level from there so um, for today we just took out the grass there was grass here and that's the grass that you saw lying there in the corner so we took the grass out and we put this ground in here now to level it now tomorrow we're going to compact it and then I think we're going to put some salt in because the salt kills the weeds. And then we're going to put the bricks on top of that. But I will, I will take videos tomorrow as Andres carries on with the paving step by step to show you guys all the steps. So for today, you didn't miss much. All you missed was taking out the grass and leveling the area. Or at least lifting the area. You can also see uh, this um, downpipe here is covered because we are going to take a saw and we're going to cut it off there. Um, also to give you an idea of how high or how much sand is actually in this corner because this was the lowest point. The water used to, to dam up here. So uh, yeah, I will take a video tomorrow when we do the compacting. And then here's the palisade that I took off. I'm gonna put this palisade back. Well, hopefully I can put it back. I'm not sure if we lifted it a lot there. I'm gonna put it back. So my project tomorrow is I have to grind all this rust off and I'm going to paint them. I'm going to paint this palisade and I'm also going to paint the gate in front. That's the second project for my upgrade my upgrade whatever okay guys so uh, welcome back to the channel so as you can see Andres is here we've got the, the compactor here so all he's going to do now this moment is he's going to level the ground so he's got his 
blank there and it's got a level level somewhere here oh there on the window there's a level so for now we're just going to level the ground and this thing is a compact it's going to compact all the sand nice and tight and then we're going to put some coarse salt uh, the whole bag on here and the salt is there to prevent all the uh, bushes and grass from growing again this is just to show you uh, Andri's compacting the ground with the compactor you can clearly see the difference between the compacted ground and the non-compacted ground Now that all the ground has been nice and compacted, it is time to put the coarse salt. Well, the coarse salt has been thrown on now, and uh, Andres is just busy cleaning up the drain pipe that he blocked with sand. And then we're going to compact this uh, salt again into the ground, while we are waiting for the bricks to come. I like all this wee stuff, he's doing all the work and I'm weeing all the way. Anyway, we hit a bit of a snag, it's about midday and the bricks hasn't arrived yet. Uh, the salt has already been thrown and compacted into the ground and Andres had to go and work somewhere else for now. The bricks and the river sand finally arrived at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This was now the following day, so what Andres is doing is putting down plastic on top of the salt and then he's going to put the bricks on top of the plastic uh, or the river sand, sorry, he's going to put river sand on top of the plastic and as you guys can see here, he puts the plastic and then he puts the river sand on top of that and he says the river sand is just easier to level because the sand is finer it's much easier to move it around and level your ground before you start packing the bricks when you use the river sand. Okay, so the sand is in, the plastic is finished and the area is level and Andres is now busy packing the bricks. On the paving front, it's going well. The bricks is being laid down. Now we need to cut some bricks to fit them into the spaces that was left. And unfortunately the rain is making it a bit difficult. But uh, we're gonna try and at least pack the main bunch today and then finish up tomorrow. Okay guys, so this is how far as we got today. If the bricks were here yesterday, and it was supposed to be here we would have been finished by now already and the guy really tried to make the lines nice and straight uh, as you guys can see it's a bit curvy because some of the bricks are a bit broader than the others but uh, yeah hopefully we'll be finished oh and I finished uh, grinding off all the rust on that palisade so hopefully tomorrow I can put it back here where it belongs and uh, paint it. Lots of dust. So Andres is cutting the, the, the bricks to make them fit so that we can finish the paving. Okay, as you guys can see, this bricks has been cut very nicely. All the sizes are fitting into the small spaces that was left and uh, this guy's really doing a wonderful job. Just want to show you guys this. As he is completing packing or cutting sections and making the sections tight, he's putting this river sand on top of the bricks and he's brooming it into the grooves to make it fit more tighter. Okay, so everything has been swept with sand now. And the sand is in between the gaps. All that's left now is, I think, to impact again once and to put some cement on these last ones to keep them in place. 
Andres is now busy using the impactor to impact the bricks again just to make it fitting fit more tightly and more secure and while he's impacting you can see the sand on top is going into the grooves of the bricks as well okay so this step has been cemented and as you can see Andres is busy putting uh, cement on the side to make sure that all the bricks on this side and this side uh, doesn't go anywhere that's it guys paving is complete cement is done it looks very very nice I must say I'm, I'm very happy even this has been put in very nicely level with the ground so now I can put my palisade back so yeah that's how you put in paving just like a, a rough addition if you like this video, then hit the subscribe button to join the Cripsonian family. Also, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. Give me a thumbs up, it will really help out this channel. You can also go and visit my website at www.cripsonian.co.za where you will find hyperlinks on all the pages except for the main page. The main page will show you exactly what the channel is about. Then if you're interested to see what's happening on the podcast page, you can go to podcast. On the Cryptozone live page, you should find out the time slots of my next live stream and what we have planned for the evening. And then on the Cryptozone YouTube channel page, you can go and um, subscribe directly to the channel, see what videos have already been posted and see what new projects I'm working on. Also you can go to contact and you can email me if you have any questions. So thanks very much for your support guys, until next time, cheers.